Hello guys, welcome back. I'm Julian. I'm here to do my reaction video for season uh, 8, episode 6 of Shameless. This time the title of the episode is Icarus Fell and Rusty Ate Him. <laughs> Another crazy episode I'm going to bet for Shameless. So we are, I think, officially halfway through season 8. I'm very excited for this uh, season. I want to know what the hell is going to happen, uh, you know, with everything, you know. Um, we have Svetlana ba back into Kevin and Veronica's life. More so Veronica's, uh, but yeah, we have that. Um, and yeah, a lot of crazy things are happening, uh, and I can't wait to watch what else is going to happen. <laughs> Even though I just said that uh, on this season. Um, I don't know. I, I'm, I'm sure you guys, hopefully you guys are enjoying my reactions for Shameless. Uh, and continue supporting for more. So yeah. If you are on YouTube, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe, comment, hit the notification bell. You can go to Patreon to watch the full uncut extended version of this reaction and so much more. And if you are on Patreon already, give it a heart, continue supporting, because I will be posting more reaction videos for season eight of this show soon, because I, I, I'm I trying to keep up a good pace with uh, season eight, so yeah. Um, I hope you guys enjoy, I hope you guys continue supporting for more, and without further ado, let's just begin with season eight, episode six of Shameless. Here we go. <laughs> The thing is, when you're screwing something hard, it's not like I'm some <laughs> rich jerk off who's worried that his view is gonna be spoiled by a bunch of homeless people. And it's just satisfying. <laughs> are you even listening to me complain? No. No. But you are a sister. It's my own family. Well, this goes this both ways. Investment, I'm gonna be the one living. For a week, three weeks ago, all I've heard since is a bark. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Look at her. Yes. I'm so happy. This is Cardinal. I think Cardinal. I think you're gonna find her dead. Oh, you actually It really is a dog. Yeah. Hi. What's going on? Oh my god, what? She's dead, isn't she? Oh my god. Oh fuck. Is that? Oh, no. Oh no. Oh no. no, no. No, don't do that. Don't do that. Oh my god. <laughs> um, is that you the lady? Aren't you no. the cutest little thing? No. Oh. Aren't you the cutest little <laughs> The dog was just licking at that body. You do not want to see this. Is why you don't, you don't, that's why you don't let dogs lick your face. Or any other place. Yes, you are. You just need some love, don't you? Don't you? Yes, you do. <laughs> Tell yes, her! You do. Tell her! Fiona, don't be mean! <laughs> Ness, yeah. there's, there's something you should probably know about that dog. What? <laughs> Come on. Murder's a capital crime, Ian. I do for 10. <laughs> doing it as a public service. Fraudulent credit card. <laughs> I'm officially in the club. Somebody at the... How many freaks at my school get student of the month? Oh, it's different. Sort but of I, I, you know what? It's something that I am liking is the fact that, I mean, in his own way, he's kind of like there for Liam, right? I mean, he went to the car wash with him and had a lot of fun, right? And he wasn't high, so... He is as much as a parent he can be, right? He's working. Up at the meeting. Well, uh. Hello to them. Good morning to all three of them. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> oh, no, no, you cannot come yet. Oh, not yet. <laughs> She's etching her. Okay, great. Now you may come. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> she hates that she makes her 
<laughs> oh, V. Oh, V. When you do as you're told, you get rewards. I love his red Lana. I just want to say it on the record. I love his red Lana. We kind of like this part of, you know, good red Lana. We all deserve that. <laughs> You came like your head was gonna explode. Well, it's just the, the mechanics is a little bit different. What is with the girl? It's a bit different. <laughs> orgasms with you too, babe. No. I might be gay. Part gay. Bisexual. That is what it means. Bisexual. Now part gay and part straight. Bisexual or pan. Okay, go ahead, suck a dick. Maybe I will. Maybe <laughs> I will suck go dick. suck a dick. I can be all gender liquid like you. You don't know. Gender you mean fluid. Gender fluid? <laughs> fluids, liquids, what? I mean, it's the kind of same thing. Gender fluids, liquids. My man has a point. Never. Fair's fair, right? I'd like to pick and shower when you come all over a man, too. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. No. Uh, You're I not like invited. To, to. Neither are you. When I do gay shit, it is just for me. We gotta go to work. We two just lick each other like cats all day while I'm gone. Best idea he's ever had. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Four times this morning is enough. <laughs> Four times? Four? <laughs> I love that they're competitive though for Veronica's orgasms. Like, it's just. <clears throat> Here's the thing. Here's the thing. The mechanics are very different when you're with a guy than you were the girl, whatever your gender is. It's, it's just a bit different, you know? Um, and let's be real. Once a guy, usually when a guy comes, end of the party sometimes with them, right? Not that he's not doing great things for her as well, but like the multiple orgasms are like, four or five consecutive ones with the woman is a more is more likely to happen than with a man because they usually end the one and then they they, they fall asleep you know too much blood <laughs> went from their brain to you know and they lose it <laughs> it doesn't happen in the same way with women so and also Lana is pretty good at everything she does apparently so I'm just saying. <laughs> so stay here and wait for the executioner. Oh. Oh. Sorry, your friend is dead. Hey, what's up, man? Oh, <laughs> stop it. Hey, can I ask you something? I just decided that you like being gay more. No. Uh, I guess I just kind of knew. Carrie Yatesel. I'm pretty sure it's just because she was the one who looked most like a dude. <laughs> yeah, it wasn't until, uh... Until what? Uh, Justin Timberlake. Ooh, yeah. yes, we all have our sexual <laughs> awakening, right? Don't we all? If you're gay, you know what I'm talking about. Mine, in retrospective, you know, thinking like, who could it be for me? Um, there are a lot, but like the first one that I think, Alyssa Milano. Not when she was on Who's the Boss, because technically we're kind of like the same age. So I like her. I was like more into like, oh, I want to be like like her. Sam I was her name, right? So I want to be like her. But then Charmed. And then there is a movie she did with vampires and shit that I was not supposed to watch. But I watch it. And that pff, I was really young. That was like, something is going on here. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not longer, like, I just want to be like Alyssa Milano. I want to do Alyssa Milano. You know what I mean? It was very confusing times, but that was for me. A little bit of an anecdote right there. <laughs> so, yeah. are you yeah. attracted to me? Okay, at the end of the counter. Oh. <laughs> what is happening? I gotta run. <laughs> Are you trying to fuck me? No, no, I, ju I just, I, uh, no, it's I not just... A, it's not a bad thing if you were not offended. Oh, okay. And I'm not saying no. 
I'm, I'm sorry, I didn't mean it like that. Um, once a week, I, I try and do a good deed. Oh, so. okay. So you're not hitting on me? No, no, oh. no. It was totally random. <laughs> Is that code? No, it's not. For what? No. No, it's not code for anything. It just means, have a nice day. Right. Okay, sorry. No, okay. Have a nice day. Kevin, with all my soul, with all my soul, I love Kevin. Him. Don't bring him back. Oh he God! Sober. Oh, yeah. These are so yeah. cute when you're watching them. Cause like the whole thing is stressful as hell, as hell. I did it once. Do not want to <laughs> have a. I I don't. I can't even imagine how people like. After the first time you do it and you kind of like figure out that all the cute things you see on TV and the babies being all cute all the time and you realize it's not like that. Why do people want to have like more? It's unbelievable to me. But I mean, it's their problem, not my vagina. The baby's going to come out, so I'm fine. But still, it's like, why? <laughs> I love Brad. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> oh, it's all about the ass today. <laughs> Kevin, you're the greatest single man that ever existed. <laughs> so do not tell me to chill the fuck out. Thank you. I'll be back. You know what? But like that just gets to tell you you have to be responsible, right? I mean, of course, go have the, the the morning after pill. You should have wore a condom, you know. You did it four times apparently. Um. What? But I don't get it. Why, like after this incident, like why do you have to sacrifice the dog? The dog doesn't seem okay. Doesn't seem bad. But like. What, what is it? Why do you have to put him down? Oh, no, just... yeah. Sorry, you have to be 17 in Missouri to buy the pill. What? What? No, I I'm almost 17. That's ridiculous. If I'm not 17, I have to have another baby? That doesn't even make any sense. Yeah, it doesn't. Just give her the pill? Well, what am I supposed to do? Get Fiona God, to buy you Missouri. the... To buy you the pill. This is so stupid. Like... And she also, she's like about to turn 17. I thought she was a little bit older than that. <laughs> Can we have an existential Have you guys ever crisis? experimented? Like in chemistry class? <laughs> no. Shop. Me too. No, not chemistry experiment, but like, you know, sexually. <laughs> no. Nope. Oh. Hey! You don't want to mess with her. Where's my pal? Something wrong? If I were gay, I would be all over you. <laughs> You're gorgeous and I already love you, but I'm just not interested in your vagina. Okay. And that tells me that I'm not a lesbian. Simple logic. There is a thing called bisexuality, though. Or pen. You know, you are attracted to the person. And you are attracted and love. Kevin, and you also are attracted in love, well, in love, I don't know, but like, kind of, Svetlana. So, pansexuality. It's so beautiful. It used to be bisexuality, and now it's bi and pan, which is kind of the same thing, but not really. Gender liquid! <laughs> Does this have anything to do with a Russian invasion of your poussoir again? Yeah. <laughs> Something about that ain't dominated. Have you met me? <laughs> she knows you, Proxy sweetie. schedule. Nothing but purple clothes in the closet. No. No. You're not getting rid of me. <laughs> and I will never let you wear purple. <laughs> <laughs> Quit going around and clean the shit out. Oh my god! <laughs> That's cute! That's cute! He said he went to the car and like... Is that Bluetooth? 
<laughs> Crank it. <laughs> Let's ride. <laughs> okay. Damn it. Ew. <laughs> <laughs> Dude. <laughs> Stop it, Kevin. If you want to experiment. Well, you the, the guy is right also you can't save everyone. Listen, um you have any idea where Brad is? He didn't mean hoes. He didn't mean. Oh, okay. Ho hoes. <laughs> You're supposed to bottom? Nice cock. <laughs> Even better in your mouth. Mm. Mm. It's an Uncle Taurus. <laughs> it's big in a way that's hard for me to accept. <laughs> I appreciate the Yelp review. How could you get started? So you're gonna bottom. Okay. Okay, Kev. Hmm. Dude, are you even gay? Turns out he's not. No. Apparently not. <laughs> it's okay not to be gay, Kevin. <laughs> Maybe I could do that for you. You? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> Why not? What could I do? Just tell me. How to dominate you. That's, that's the thing. I think you're missing the point, babe. Yeah, you're missing the point. All right, I'll go. I'll be right back and boss you around, okay? <laughs> you're so sweet, Kevin. Kevin is so sweet. It could work. You guys have role play before, right? Let me be a father. Fate of the Michael Jordan statue's arm remains a mystery. <laughs> Somebody cut off the arm of the Michael Jordan statue? Yeah, you did. What kind of asshole would do something like that? <laughs> no. Oh. <laughs> no way. <laughs> Just because I, I love him so much, man. <laughs> what do they do with it? <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> I'll get the pill. A lot back. A lot back. Can I have the morning after pill, please? <laughs> that is just so wrong. People start running because they think he's a terrorist. Just because he's yelling a lot. <laughs> That's sweet. What do you think? Oh! You don't want to go. Oh! Yeah, no. Not a chance, pal. <laughs> nope, nope, nope. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys, so that was the end of season eight, uh, episode six of Shameless. Really good episode. Hilarious episode. I, I never thought I could laugh this much. Um, but yeah, I mean, this episode. One of the major things that happen is that, you know, Kevin, I, I really love Kevin, you know, because he is, he should be that type of guy who is very set in his ways, 100% straight, and he will never question it. Or if he question it, then he will have an existential crisis because, you know, it can he can go the other way. But in this on this episode, he was like, you know, just looking around, like see, saying, "Kiss, um, 
Veronica said to him, um, you know, women d do know women's body, so that's why. And while that might be partially true, you have to understand the mechanics of having sex with a woman, a, you know, two, two women or two men are completely different, right? Are, are, they are. You know, whether if you're having, you're a woman and you're having sex with a man or you're having sex with a woman, it's, it, it, it's, it's different. You know, the mechanics is different. Um, now, the orgasms that you might have, I mean, I think it has to be more with the intimacy of it, right? Or even knowing what the other person likes, you know? And I think it's a really good, healthy conversation to have uh, where she, like, uh, Veronica understands why there is such a magnetism between her and Svetlana. And while I don't like the fact that it's just because she likes to be dominated, because she likes to be bossed around when she's in bed, which is, like, totally okay, um... I think that opening up a conversation where gender is very fluid, liquid, <laughs> um, and where you can actually like the person without the necessity of liking the gender, right? Which is, to me, has always, that, that uh, meaning has always been bisexuality to me. For a few years now, we have the term pansexuality, where that fits a little bit better there. But like pan, being pi, pan, being pan or bi are kind, kind of the same. It, allegedly, if you're, if you're bi, not pi, <laughs> bi, uh, you are attracted to two genders. And when you're pan, you're attracted to whoever it is. It doesn't matter who it is. But to me, that's the... the um, the term and the meaning that I came out when I came out as bisexual, that was the, um, that was a whole thing, you know, uh, not being attracted to whatever it is in anyone's pants, but rather being attracted to a person. So that is why I have not changed to pin. Um, but I, you know, it's not a term that I am like obsessed or anything, but I do like bi a lot more than the other one. So. There is that. Um, but the thing is, really, uh, that uh, on this episode, we, we kind of let them both, Kevin and Veronica, explore that. Explore what the meaning is uh, behind their relationship, behind how they work with, this, with this Svetlana, you know. And Kevin finds out that he's 100% straight, you know, and not at all dominant <laughs> either, you know, so... Which is like, you end up saying, Kevin, it's okay not to be gay, <laughs> you know? I love that. I love that because it's something that sometimes it's not talked about. Um, some, like, if you have straight characters, you know, usually they are like, oh, we are all for gay. But, like, you don't get to just look at a guy and say, no, he's 100% straight and he's not an asshole. He's not judgmental. You know, he's truly, you know, a regular nice guy. And and I love that. I love that about Kevin. And I love that uh, he was questioning and not for a single minute. He was like upset about it. You know, he was not like, oh my God, gay is so wrong. No, it was like, he was curious about it. He was like really wondering if he was attracted to men. And then realizing that, no, I'm not. I like women and like. That's just who I am, and it's fine. Um, and also, I like that Veronica did kind of find out that it is about, it's more about the action rather than the gender. She's not attracted to Fiona, but also, like, that is a terrible example to, like, question herself whether if she's gay or straight uh, or bisexual, because for neither of them, it came to their mind that they could be bi or pan. Um, the thing is that uh, she was like, you're gorgeous, you know, but the thing is, Fiona is her best friend, so why will she be in love? I mean, they're not super corp, okay? So, 
of course they're not in love with each other. Um, so I, I do like what Fiona offers in the sense of like, no, you're attracted to the fact that she's bossy with you, which you don't get from anyone else other than her. And that might be why you react the way that you do. Um, so uh, I think that, yes, m well, that might be true. Also, like the fact that Veronica might not be attracted to other women is really like left up in the air because she just confronted the fact that I don't want your pussy like to Fiona and like no of course not you, that's your friend you think of her as a friend you have never thought of her as a sexual partner you know so no you're not gonna be attracted to her can we bring Nessa in <laughs> maybe there's going to be Nessa. right I mean they have the opportunity to like Nessa having like having Nessa there and maybe her like flirting with her and like confirming that uh veronica is in fact not straight and probably by or pan which i'm leading more to pin I, I i do like one of the thing one of the things that i do like about the fact that we have bisexuality as a term and then pansexuality as well is that you can you know specify one so she could totally be pan Veronica, right? Uh, but it's not brought up, it's not talked, uh, but hopefully it will. I mean, this show is very progressive and they can totally do that with um, Veronica eventually. We do know <laughs> my boy. <laughs> also, he tried to bottom, okay? I think it could have been a bit better if he tried to top. I think he will have found, ma. I mean... Not everybody likes dicks, and it's okay if he doesn't. It's fine. Uh, but yeah, that was a really great storyline. I wish that we could had. Uh, I mean, Svetlana for sure is pan, bisexual or pansexual, for sure, because she's like, you still get pleasure. It doesn't matter who you get pleasure from. This is still sex, and you having a good time. So. Like, she doesn't, like, for her, it's, there, there, it's, it's not a big deal. Uh, and yes, I like how sexually fluid, sexually liquid, they, <laughs> all three of them are. Uh, including Kevin, because he, he, I mean, he went for it. And I love the fact that they talked about it, Veronica and, and Kevin, and she was like, okay, I'm glad that you try, you know. And there was no jealousy, there was nothing like that, because they have this polyamorous kind of thing going on, you know. So, Yeah. Um, anyway, so then there is the other side of the story with Lip, which I really, you know, I really enjoyed it. Um, but I do have to say that his teacher does have a little bit of, like, there's something there, right? Because, um, Lip, when he was trying to help him, the, the teacher, Yuri, Yuri, or something, I don't remember his name, um... He was really hell-bent on, on helping him because he once helped him. And he felt like, you know, he couldn't let him down. And so he went to the end of the earth, in a way, uh, to try to help him out. And continues to do so. Uh, the same thing is now happening with Brad. Um, and I love that he's a loyal friend and that he really appreciates all the help that he gets from his friends and he will repay with, you know, in the same amount of way to them. You know, that is great. But he is an alcoholic. He cannot do that codependent type of thing where he's always trying to save someone in order for his sobriety to have some meaning. I understand that since it's very early in his sobriety where he is kind of like, Wondering, you know, uh, should I just, you know, let go and just drink up? Um, you know, since it's very early, I, I do understand why he needs to see everyone, like, his role models. And especially uh, right now, Brad, if he thinks, if he can make it, like, will I be able to make it? You know, so it's very important for him to have Brad making it. Because other, in other way, he's, he's, he's screwed. He will think that he will not be able to do it. So I understand that. And, you know, even if it's early in his sobriety, 
I think that is the one of the key things is because he's so early in his sobriety that he ha- he needs that meaning. He needs to look up to someone to see that there is a way for you to live with this disease, you know, that you can build yourself a life, you know, and for him to see Brad just destroying it, it's something that he can't handle. It is codependent and it's, I'm going to guess, not 100% good for him, um, but it just gets to tell you how loyal, how amazing he is, you know, and how, how how much heart he has honestly but it also it is part of his addiction the fact that he's very codependent right now but honestly i'm gonna give it to lip because i i think that um he's doing his best he is doing his best to try to push forward and continue uh, uh uh being sober um so if this is what it means you know for him right now um and if this little chores and things that he does is the way to keep him sober, I mean, go for it, right? But hopefully it doesn't mean that it's going to take from him, right? Hopefully. Um, then in the other hand, we have Frank, who is really becoming every regular citizen in, a, in any society, which he got a job. He was doing great. He was employee of the month. Um, but, you know, life, you don't always have your life figure out. And he doesn't, but he's trying, which is kind of like sweet. And like he's also trying to be there for Liam, you know, all shit behind. Uh, whether he is giving him good advice or not, no one tells you how to be a parent. No one tells you what is right, what is wrong. You know, you kind of do know what it is. And, you know, eventually uh, you you get to do good things. Um, but that doesn't mean that what he is doing, what what uh, Frank is doing with, with Liam, is not a good thing. He's there for him. You know, he's listening to him. He is giving him advice. Whether the advice is good or bad, you know, but like, who teaches you to be a, a good parent? He is being honest with this kid. He's telling him how things are. And like, I think that all the kids prior to, to Liam will have loved to have Frank at least there. With a regular job, just, you know, driving them to school. Yes, still not having like everything they need. But having him here, having him there could have made such a difference for all of them, right? But I'm, I, I like the fact that he's kind of like, you know, making it up with, with Liam. So, yay, right? Um, anyways, but he got fired from his job. Will that mean that it will be a setback for him? Or would it be true that he will be able to just continue moving forward? I don't know. Who knows? He was not scamming anyone. He was truly working in that place and liking it. So we'll see what happens. Um, anyways, also Fiona on this episode, that lady that we never actually got to meet that was behind the door barking every time Fiona came anywhere close to her. She died, got eaten by her dog, partially eaten by her dog. And then we realized that, you know, she had an entire life and like her entire house was just her life. But at the end of the day, no one really knew her. She had some feud with her sister and then they never got to talk again. They never were able to make peace again. And, you know, because of that, she just pull herself away from the family. She had no contact with her niece and with no one, you know? Um, And at the end of the day, her entire life that was in that room got tossed out of the window, you know, without without a care or anything. So, which was really sad. And that made Fiona think about her decisions about what she's doing to her family. Now, I think 
that both Fiona and Ian are being very selfish about this entire situation. Yes, granted, Fiona should have talked to Ian at first and should have let him know that for business, and this is something that she does, she, she's not running a, a, a charity. She's trying to make a, a, a honest living out of the things that she's doing. And technically for her, it will not be good for her business if there's a homeless shelter right near by her building. So it is fair that she's fighting against it. Is it terrible? Yeah, yes. Morally speaking, it is terrible because she's closing the doors for kids in need, you know. Uh, but also, Ian has to see it from her point of view as well. Whereas, like, she is putting everything she got onto this place. And she, just as much as the other kids at the home homeless shelter, she did not have a lot to start her life. Yeah, she, you know, um, at least had a house, you know. But it, life has been hard for Fiona as well, you know. And she does deserve to fulfill her, her dreams. Um, so I think if they both could have looked each other's point of view, they wouldn't be as mad as they are at the moment. You know, but I'm not siding with any anyone right uh, here. Because I understand where Ian is coming and I understand where Friona is coming. I just wish they could see it, you know, um, eye to eye, honestly. So um, we'll see how that develops, right? We'll see. Uh, then you have Debbie. Debbie, Debbie, Debbie. Debbie. Who is, you know, after what happened in her running into Derek, she went on... Um, uh, I don't know how you can say it. Like, she went on to, you know, um, party, rave thing. I don't know wh what the hell happened. Uh, but she ended up having sex a bunch of times with this new guy. And was irresponsible enough because she didn't use protection. Now, it's completely irresponsible what she did. Not only because she can't get pregnant. But also because she can get an STD and, you know, any other disease. And it will be terrible for both her and Franny. And she is not even 17. Like, I'm not saying, like, she shouldn't have fun and have sex. But be smart about it, right? She's no longer... She can't allow herself that type of mistakes. Like... She can't. She can't. She just can't. I don't care how upset she was. I don't care. She shouldn't have been doing that. She should have been wearing protection. Look, she could have sex 50 times a day. I don't give a damn. But use protection, man. Use it. Because one, you don't want a kid. You don't want another kid. And, and second, you don't want to catch an STD. Right? So, come on, dude. She should have known better. She knows that her life is very difficult. She know, she loves Franny with all her heart. That doesn't mean that she is ready or was ready to have a kid to begin with. So, she should be smart. I don't like the fact that she was just, you know, having sex and just, you know, not wearing protection. Not cool, Debbie, at all, you know. And the baby was, like, right there. She put her in the bathtub and, like, no. Okay, you need to protect. I mean, you go and be, you know, and uh, have sex with everyone. I don't give a damn. But protect your kid and protect yourself, which is important. Um, anyway, so, great episode. Really, really, really liked it. I uh, cannot wait to watch the next one as well. So stay tuned for more because I will be reacting to the entire eighth season of Shameless. And of course, uh, ninth season. I think here on Netflix, I, I have 10 seasons. But don't worry, by the time I'm caught up with all 10 seasons, season 11 probably will be here as well. So yeah, 
Don't worry about that. Um, anyways, for now, I think that's about it. I hope you guys enjoy. I hope you guys continue to support for more. Give it all a thumbs up. Subscribe, comment, hit the notification bell. You can go to Patreon right now and watch the full uncut extended version of this reaction and so much more. So in case you guys want to do that, link as always will be in the description down below. And if you're already on Patreon, give it a heart, continue supporting for more. So we'll be posting more reaction videos for this incredible show coming up soon, next week, I think. Anyways, that's it. I hope you guys enjoy, and I'll see you guys next time for more reaction videos for Shameless. That's it. Bye, guys.